Hey everyone, this is Daniel and Kelly from fitnessblender.com and today is day number three. So today we're doing a combination of either HIIT or cardio, depending on which one of us you want to follow along with, along with abs. I'm going to be doing the napping portion. If <laughs> yeah, <you> want to do. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> That's when I feel more up for a nap right now than anything else. Um, we've included your warm up and your cool down and you're not going to need any equipment at all for this. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we've got a nice hit workout today, so we definitely need to make sure we get in our warm up first. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first exercise is a high knee march, and we're gonna be doing each one of these for 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and get started up. So a nice slow high knee march, focus on range of motion. If your muscles are still a little cold or sore, that's perfectly fine, just go whatever's comfortable. I'm gonna add a little extra in there. So <laughs> nice full range of motion. Just constantly trying to get a little bit more every single time. So by now, probably your lower body is sore, your upper body should be sore from yesterday. So today, if your upper body, or if your lower body is too sore, let's do slow butt kickers, sorry. If your um, lower body is too sore, you'll want to stick with the lower impact version for these because you don't want to work out too hard on muscles that are already really sore. But if you're feeling good, go ahead and stick with the hip version. I think Kelly and I are going to be trying to compete with who gets to do the easy version today. <laughs> We've been bickering back and forth all morning <laughs> about who ought to do it. Alright, all right. moving on to a boxer shuffle next. Go and switch. Just stay up on the ball of that foot. Nice quick motion. Starting to get that blood flowing a little bit more. If you want to add in some extra arm motions with it, that's perfectly fine. Just whatever you want to to get that heart rate up, get that core temperature up. In about five seconds, we're gonna switch to lunge jacks. Alright, so up and then tap. Just keep that torso straight up and down. Nice long step. The longer you step out, the harder it's gonna be. The more of those legs you're gonna have to work, and the more you're gonna have to stretch for it to warm up those muscles and those joints. And I'm gonna switch to an up and over, so nice and light overhead. Tap that foot, come over your head again, tap the other foot. Keep those lungs open again. Nice fluid range of motion. Breathing normally, nice full deep breaths. Right. Two, one. All right, now a nice wide sumo squat plus a kick. So if you can't kick up very high, don't worry about it. You can go nice and low, yeah. it's fine. You can also hold on to something for balance. Remember, you're trying to wake up those muscles, trying to wake up those joints. So push it if you can, as long as it's comfortable. All right, warrior lunges. All right, so we're <laughs> here, come up, <laughs> and then switch feet. Kelly always likes to switch out exercises on me at the last minute. So I have no idea what's going on. Jumping jacks. That's just an excuse. He never has an idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> See the kind of abuse I have to put up with? Yeah. It's good for you. It builds character. Yeah. <laughs> There's no equipment at all for this. Get a drink of water if you need to. Keep water nearby. We'll start into that hit. Just don't stop moving. You need to keep that body warm. We'll be right back. 
All right, let's go ahead and get started with our next part of this routine. We are going to be doing a hit exercise combined with a core exercise in an AABB pattern. We're going to be twice. Going twice through. For so eight times per group. That's right, four per exercise, and then we're going to move to the next group. So our first group consists of a uh, squat jump plus a front kick and a single leg jackknife crunch. So let's go ahead and get started with that squat jump and front kick Two, is our first one. One. All right, stay with me for the harder version. I'm doing the easier one, so if you need a slightly lower impact version or just a slightly lower cardio version, follow along with me. So push up as hard as you can for that squat, land soft, and then alternate which leg you're kicking forward with each time. Just a few seconds left already. Right, and we're doing that same thing one more time before we move on to that core exercise. Keep those feet moving, keep those lungs Two, open. One, here we go. Single leg jackknife crunch is next. Are you okay? <laughs> you got room? Here we go. <laughs> Let's just hope I'm still on camera. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So if you need an easier version of this, you can always bend your knee and bring it up. Makes it a little bit easier on those abs. Otherwise, full extension on that leg. There's one. All right, same thing, those. same exercise again. Three, two, one, here we go. Keep those abs pulled in nice and tight, lower back press against that ground. All right, pop All right. back up. Starting back over again with that squat jump and kick. Two, one, here we go. Remember I'm doing the easier version, Kelly's doing the harder. Keep those lungs open. Feet moving. We got one more round of these squat jumps. Have fun yet? Always. <laughs> Here we go. Just keep those lungs open. Breathing normally. Don't hold your breath. Focusing on that form. Nice deep squat as low as is comfortable. The nice kick straight out in front. But keep it under control. All right. Back down to the ground. Back flat against that mat. Here we go. Remember, an easier version if you want is to bend that knee. Takes just a little bit more tension off of that hip flexor and those abs. shoulder as high as you can. Three seconds. Five. All right, back up. Moving on to our next group, we're doing split jump burpees next. So again, I'm doing the easier version. You're out, kick out, back up, and then one foot forward, then the other foot forward, just into a nice quiet lunge. Also, feet. you can do a step out, nice and slow, sorry. That's okay. Um, make sure you're leading with a different foot each time you jump up. <sighs> Alright, one more of those. Here's the oh. <laughs> Move 
as fast as you can without sloppy form. All right, keep your feet moving. We've got plank up or in and out, so down in a push-up position or off those elbows. Feet go out and back in. You can either alternate side to side or you can move them a little bit more quickly like Kelly's doing. You can switch it up, get a little bit different motion on it each time. So a nice easy step out and back, or step out with both feet, back in, step to the other side with both feet, just whichever you like more. You can also, if this gets too hard, just drop to your knees and hang here. Alright, back up. Oh. Split jump burpees. The last two of these. Down on the ground, got another round of those planks. Make sure you're not holding your breath right now. It's easy to do. Where we can always drop down on those knees for that easier version. You can even add that motion on your knees if you're on a pad. Or Matt. No, All right. Where are you going? Oh, we got one more. <laughs> Keep trying to get <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. Okay, right. back up. I see how it is. Uh-huh. Just all that oh, weight in those forearms. On those knees again if you need to. We'll be back in just a second. Just keep those feet moving. All right, we're starting back into our hit routine. Same idea, just more torture. So. First up, we have gorilla squats. So you'll be watching me for the harder version this time. Kelly's gonna get the easier one. Oh, I didn't so even know nice that. So nice, big, swooping motion. Get as low as you can with those hips. Feet relatively wide, about twice shoulder width apart or so. So the easier version of this is just to stay nice and shallow. Only go as far as you can uh, manage with proper form. Back in that boxer shuffle. Got one more round of those gorilla squats. There you go. So if you're not sore from day one of this challenge, the lower body intensive part, you can always add weights to some of these exercises today and make them a lot harder. All right. And down, down on the down ground. The you got back bows next. So full extension of those arms for the hardest version, keeping those arms and feet hovering. So for the easier up. version, hands behind your head. 
Full extension on those legs and those arms for the hardest. Three seconds. All right. All right, next round, same thing. Two, one, here we go. This is a really good exercise. You're working your glutes, your thighs, your lower back, and even a little bit of your shoulders, especially if you have your arms extended. All right, back up. Another round of those gorilla squats. So if you notice in our abs workouts, we, we attack everything. So the sides, your obliques, your lower back, your, um, your entire abdominal panel. Um, there is no such thing as lower abs. <laughs> You're working the entire core, basically from here to here, through this whole routine. So nothing is left out. A lot of times when people do abs, they do crunches until they're blue in the face and then completely ignore the muscles in the back. So then you have muscle imbalance that is, can actually be dangerous. You're putting yourself at risk for all kinds of injuries that are really easy to avoid. Well, so. It can actually cause chronic back pain if you do that. Uh -huh. You always have to try to balance out those muscles as best you can, from left to right, front to back. And that's why we do the things we do in our routines. <laughs> And why you should also be very careful with other people's abs work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just saying. <laughs> All right, back down to the ground again. Back bows. Yeah. Those hands and feet hovering for the harder version. So the goal is to not rest completely on the ground, but if you need to, you can actually rest all the way down and then come back up. To make it a little bit easier. Right. And let it relax. Those lungs, lungs open. One more. So you're doing rocket squats, huh? I am. Keep those lungs open. All right, next group. Rocket squats are next. Fun. Remember, stick with me for the easier version this time. So three, two, one. Nice hard jump for the harder version. One. Keep those lungs open. Flat back. Keep that squat form nice and clean. That boxer shuffle, that jog in place. Just keep those feet moving, lungs open. Two, one, here we go. Three, two, one. So remember, you can even stop one, two, three, here. You don't have to go deep. If you can't control it, don't force it. All right, back down on the ground again. Another core exercise, we're doing Russian twist next. Sitting on that tailbone, feet kicked out. Easiest version, straight up and down. Harder version, lean back as far as you can with feet off the ground. Keep that back perfectly flat, no rounding that lower back. Give a little bit of a rest. Let those abs release for just a second. I'm cruising right through this. Yep. That's the good thing about HIT is it's so fast. <laughs> there you go. That you hardly even have time to complain. <laughs> Five seconds. Squats. Five seconds till we start. No. Start them up. Try to get a nice deep squat. 
whether you're doing the easy version or the hard version. Keep your back flat, press up through your heels. So you can actually be able to wiggle your toes even. That's how much of your weight should be in your heels. Just one more of those. How are you doing? Good. Yeah? That's not too bad. It hurts, but it's, <laughs> it's a good hurt. We also didn't exactly uh, eat like athletes yesterday. No. <laughs> we went to a barbecue, had some champagne, <laughs> you know. All those things that make hit feel even more fun. <laughs> All right, Russian twist. But we are a very good example of, even if you mess up on your diet, just get right back into yeah. it the next day. All right, feet up off the ground for the harder version. Keep that back nice and flat. Feel like you're actually tilting your chest up towards the ceiling. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Wow. Just one, one more, more of those. Group. And we have one more group to go until bad. we get another little bit of a break. <laughs> two, one, here we go. Flat back, full rotation as far as you can go. Really work those obliques. That lower back and those abs, all at the same time with this one. Great. All right, back up. All right, switch foot jumps. See which one of your switch foot jumps? I'm drawing a blank here. Here you go. Like that. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so if you need a lower impact version, you can step forward and back, then switch feet forward and back. If you're glutton for punishment and you want something harder, you can always do jumping yep. lunges instead. You can always make it worse. Um, you're in my bubble right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> Alright, keep those feet moving. Another round of those switch foot jumps. I'm going to do those jumping lunges to make it a little harder. Follow along if you want. Otherwise, keep that motion. We're limited. You're coming into my section. <laughs> Am I? Yeah. Trying to blame it on me. You're the one. Moving. All right, get those feet moving again. We have side hip raises next. The first round is going to be left, second round is going to be right. So let's start on the left side first. Hip down, right. lift those hips up on your knees for the easier. Full extension on those feet for the harder. If you want a little extra range of motion, go to full extension on that arm. Five seconds left. Stay on this side. Same thing. Still doing the same side. We don't switch until the next round. Two, one, there you go. Remember hardest version, full extension on that arm, full extension on those legs, feet stacked. Next to easiest is down that elbow. Next to easiest is elbow and knee. Going back to those jumping lunges if you want to follow along. <laughs> Still, you're trying to trip me, that's what you're trying to do. I might trip you. Alright, get those feet going. Get one more round. Ha <laughs> ha. You did it this time. <laughs> Alright, start them up. Back down on the ground. Switch it over to the other side. Easiest version, knees and elbow. Hardest version, full extension on that arm, full extension on those legs. I was halfway already. 
You should feel like you're pulling that shoulder underneath you every time. Really pressing that hip up. Two, one. Ooh, a little Nine. bit of a break. Last one of these, then we get a little bit of an extra break here. Start it up. Full range of motion, really push yourself. Those feet moving again. Hit pause if you need to let your rest. Grab a drink of water, but don't stop moving. We'll be back to start in again in just a second. Okay, everyone, this is the last section of this uh, hit routine with core combined. So let's go ahead and get it started. Our first exercise is a heel tap plus jump. I know a lot of you were scared of this one. I'll be doing the easier ones this time. Kelly will be doing the harder okay, ones. So down, click your heels, come up, and jump. So the easier version, you're just going to bring one foot up at a time and then stand back up. So make sure you alternate which foot you start with each time. <laughs> Just keep those feet moving, keep those lungs open. Three, two, one, here we go. Let's get this feet right. moving again. Toe touch crunches, so on your back. Feet straight up above those hips. Knees bent to the easier version. Just crunch up as high as you possibly can. Legs fully extended if you can. If you're feeling a lot of extra tension through those hamstrings, then you can have a slight bend in that knee, which is perfectly fine. Three seconds. Legs up, start them again. Do you ever find yourself daydreaming about the cool down? <laughs> like, oh, That'll be so nice. <laughs> it always feels so far away, but we're really close. Alright, back up. Alright, back up, heel tap and jump. Down. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't make me Are laugh. you laughing at me? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, you I'm on my side. Why do you need extra space? Cause the calorie bar. <laughs> You don't want to come a little closer over. You can both be on my side if you want. <laughs> All right, crunch them up. I don't know if any of you guys had siblings when you were growing up with the driving the car and hey, don't look out my window. That's pretty much what Kelly and I do all the time. I wouldn't compare us to siblings. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> we fight. Scratch that. <laughs> I'm stupid. <thing. laughs> 
Almost done. Wow. All right, back up. No rest for the weary. We got mountain climbers coming up next. Two, one. Let's see if I can do this with slippery hands. Yeah. So if you're doing the easy version, just tap those feet down underneath you. Harder versions, Kelly is doing. Nice quick motion with those feet. I don't know why. I think mountain climbers are great. They're a really hard exercise. Mm. You guys tell us do... if you guys like mountain climbers or not. See whose side you're on. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather do burpees for days. <laughs> My mom likes them. You know that. Mountain climbers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she showed me the other day. She was like, this one, you were doing this. I like that one. <laughs> That's because your mom likes me more than she likes you. No. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> Oh, we both, you. <laughs> Making me get up. Alright. Here we go. Easy that version. That is not true, by the way. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> nice slow range of motion. One hour at a time for the easy one, letting it touch down every single time. Harder versions, keeping both those hands and feet hovering off the ground the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Some space issues. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 All right, back up. Oh, sorry, not back up. We're doing mountain climbers. Everything's on the ground for this one. <laughs> Starting to get tired. Just get those feet moving. Nice and slow like me for the easier version. Nice and quick like Kelly for the faster version. If you don't want to go quite as slow as I'm going, you can always speed those feet up. Or if you want to make it a little bit harder, don't let that foot touch down as you curl it underneath. Two. One. Jeez, this is slippery. <laughs> Slowly sliding back. <laughs> Just keep that body moving. Three, two, one. Oh. All right. Swimmers next. Uh -huh. You're migrating further and further towards me. <laughs> Next group, we got stationary runners and a reverse crunch. So runners first. Here we go. Stick to one side. Easier version is basically just don't squat quite so much on that single leg and just don't move quite so quick. Otherwise, try to stay as low as possible, moving as quickly as you can, just like Kelly. Put your arms in the mix. Just move as quick as you can. The sweat is flying off me. <laughs> Women. All right, switch sides for this next round. Switch that leading leg. Oh, 
Five more seconds. Keep those lungs open. All right, reverse crunch. On your back, similar to a uh, touch up to crunch position, but this time lifting your hips off the ground rather than crunching up towards those toes. So crunch them up. Try not to roll or swing those legs. It's just a slow squeeze straight up in the air. There's really no easier version with this one. Don't put those hands underneath your butt, it's just cheating. Oh. Oh. All right, one more round of those. Hi. <laughs> All right, get those legs up. those lungs open. Focus on that form. Make it the hardest version you can. Do the same thing on the other leg. Let's start it up. crunch. Legs up in the air and start them up. Lift those hips. Keep those lungs open as best you can. Try not to hold your breath. Alright, one down, one to go. Feet up. Keep pushing through it. Yeah. All right, let's stand back up. Get those feet moving. Come out, come back to our burnout round and then our cool down stretch. All right, this is our burnout round of cardio, just a little bit extra, and it's going to be 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and it's less than five minutes. We're starting off with up and out jacks, so. Follow me for the hard stuff, follow Kelly for the modifications for slightly easier. So here we're here. Make sure you keep those arms and legs nice and rigid, no matter which version you're doing. Ooh. <laughs> Your hand okay? <laughs> I'm kind of into my side of the screen again. <laughs> Start with that again. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Two, one. All right, after rest. Next Ooh. up, we're doing a twisted climber or a twisted mountain climber. Daniel's gonna show you the harder version. It's much harder. <laughs> if you've got it left in you, more power to you. <laughs> That's my concussion. Yeah. Keep those lungs open. Those feet moving. Ten seconds. Oh. 
All right, keep those feet moving. Got heel tap jumps next. And start them up. Okay, so we have a couple different options. You can either go here, stay in a low squat and bring one leg up. Or the reason why those are hard is because they're so quick. So you can also go here, march for a couple seconds, do it again. And then as you get stronger and stronger, just do the jumps more often. Otherwise, if you want to stay low impact, stay here. Everything starts feeling really sluggish and lethargic as you get further into this. Five seconds. All right, drop down to the floor. Bicycle crunches are next. Nice, big circular motion with those feet. Just like riding a bike, but with a little extra rotation to that torso, crunching up towards that knee. The further you keep that knee out away from you, the harder it's gonna be. So if you stop above that hip joint, that's gonna be nice and hard. Whereas if you bring that knee all the way in, it's easier. 10 seconds. Got walk downs and back bows. These are nice and easy. All right. Two, one. <laughs> Here we go. So walk all the way out, drop down to the ground, do a back bow. So if you want to make this easier, walk down, drop to your knees, then go down for your back bow, and you can start on your knees too. If you're serious about for punishment, you can always do a full walk out with those hands. Good luck getting back up. Yeah. At this point. <sighs> All right. That is the end of the nasty portion. I go back to a boxer shuffle real quick, just to slowly let that heart rate drop back down. This should be a really, really kind of slow, lethargic boxer shuffle. <laughs> Don't worry about moving real quick. So let that heart rate drop. The sedated boxer. Blood. Yeah. <laughs> the beat boxer. Beat down boxer. I guess beat boxer is something completely different. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I was going to say, Kelly's we've done been that. known. <laughs> He's not pretty. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start slowly moving in to our stretch. Get those feet really nice and wide. We're gonna do a nice sweeping motion with that torso from those hips, down across the front, pause the back, and back down the opposite direction. Nice and slow, let everything relax. Keep those lungs open. Hmm. So if you sweated any much, anywhere as much as we have just now, you're gonna need to drink a lot of water to make <laughs> yeah. up for that. You're gonna wanna make sure you eat something soon after this. Um, if you can't get to a full meal, then make sure you have at least a hearty snack. Otherwise, the sooner you can eat, the better. All right, get those feet really nice and wide. Again, still nice and wide. Turn one foot off the side, bend that knee, lean back towards that straight leg, bring your hand over top of your head. Torso stretch, as well as stretching the inside of that thigh. Get those lungs open, breathing normally. Recovering that oxygen as much as you can. So in terms of what you eat, you're going to want it to be high in carbohydrate. A lot of things out there talk about needing to eat just massive amounts of protein when Switch you're done sides. with a workout. And protein is super important, but all of the macronutrients are important. And carbohydrate is what you most need to replace after you've done a workout like this. So pick something nice and high in healthy carbohydrates. And keep those feet wide, go straight down in the center. Rock those feet just a little bit if you want. And 
stand it back up. So you work those legs quite a bit, so let's go ahead and keep stretching those legs out a little bit more. We're gonna go for those quadriceps. Best way to do it is bring that heel back to your butt, straight up and tall, straight up and down, that is, and pull that knee back behind you as far as you're comfortable. Just get that stretch to the front of that thigh, a little bit into the front of that hip. As Kelly was saying earlier about making sure that you drink a lot of water, that is incredibly important to just help your body function more properly. The more water you have in your system, or at least closer to optimal hydration, the more efficient everything is. Even the more calories you can burn because your yeah. body's more efficient at it. Plus you're able to push yourself harder during any given workout if you're mm -hmm. properly hydrated. Because if you start out dehydrated, you can actually have, just from a 1% drop in your hydration level, you can have up to a 5% drop in your overall physical ability as far as endurance goes. And switch sides. So the thing about hydration is you don't need to do anything special. The best thing you can do is just water. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everybody's trying to sell you something. Everybody has their magic potion and all mm -hmm. this, but you don't need it. Just water and real food. I know we sound like broken records, but <laughs> there's so many people hounding, like just chasing after people trying to get healthy, trying to sell them something. So yeah. just real food and water. And a good rule to go by is if you actually weigh yourself before and after a workout, Whatever your weight change is, is most likely going to be just water, about 99% water. So whatever, however many pounds you lose, you want to replace that with one eight ounce glass of water per pound. What would you like to do next? Let's see, we got through most of that leg stuff. You wanna? Let's do a downward dog. Okay. This is always my go-to, my favorite. Keep those lungs open, nice straight line from wrist to hip, and hip to ankle. Try to press those heels down as best you can. Go ahead and slide that into a cobra. Hand by the base of your rib cage, arch it up. Eyes is comfortable. Now since we worked that core quite a bit, we're gonna to want to stress it out a little bit too. We've already hit those obliques just a little bit, but we haven't gotten that rotation motion very much, so we're gonna go ahead and hit that here in just a second. So we let that cobra relax. Go ahead and sit back up on your tailbone. One leg out, the other leg's gonna be crossed over top. You're going to lean or twist towards that knee that's up. So twist towards that knee. If you need a little extra help, you can push that elbow into that knee. Otherwise, perfectly straight up and down, using those muscles to twist. Let's go. So, oh, Eric, go ahead. Don't be alarmed if you hear any popping. As long as there's no pain associated, you're totally fine. Just be careful not to force anything. Don't push into any kind of pain when you're stretching. A lot of these stretches, especially if you're doing these after a workout, when you're nice and warm already, you've got plenty of fluid running through your body as far as blood volume goes, that kind of thing. You can actually get into these stretches and very easily move bones back into place, kind of adjusting yourself. Go ahead and switch. Did you get a good one? Yeah. <laughs> Keep those lungs open. And let that one relax. Let's go for a basic toe touch. Mm -hmm. So even if you can't reach your toes, point them and pull them back up towards your body so you get a nice stretch through your calves as well as through the backs of your thighs here. And then just stretch on those legs as far as is comfortable. You don't actually have to be able to grab your toes. The main thing that's important is keeping your legs straight and then going down as far as you can. If you want to feel a slightly different part of that hamstring stretching, you can either kick those heels out and stretch down, or turn those toes in and stretch down, and you'll feel it in a very, very different part of that hamstring. Okay. 
them in, feet together, and lean forward. So you get a nice stretch to those inside thighs. Try to pull those legs down as much as you can towards the ground. Just keep those lungs open. Keep reminding yourself, just breathe normally. Trying to let yourself relax as much as possible, trying to get as much oxygen as you can back into your system. And let that relax. You want to do a deep boot stretch real quick and call it? Mm -hmm. Alright, so on your back. One leg cross up over top, grab behind that thigh, pull that leg in as far as you can, as far as it's comfortable, you should feel a stretch in the leg that's crossed over top. And switch sides. Grab behind that thigh of the other leg, pull in. Alright, that is the end of our cool down and stretch. So one thing I want you to pay attention to before we let you go today is how you feel right now. Your workout is done, your muscles are worn, but they're satisfied. You're probably feeling a little sore, but you're also accomplished. You probably feel less stressed and more energized in a sleepy, sluggish sort of way you know, after <laughs> workout, but you've done it. Just remember how you feel right now and when you're feeling short on motivation to work out Just remember this feeling and remember that this is what you feel like when you make it to the end of that That workout when you see the workout complete screen that you get this feeling Especially compared to how you probably felt before we even started um, I know kind of both do this quite often you might have uh, done the same thing when you first start you're like Oh, I really yeah. don't want to do a workout. Mm -hmm. I'm tired all right, fine, I'll go ahead and do it. And then by the time you're finished, you're still tired, but it's a different kind of tired and you feel so much more accomplished and better. So just remind yourself that even if you're feeling a little bit uh, run down, a little bit depressed, you don't want to really do a workout, when you're finished, you always feel so much better. So we will see you tomorrow with day four. We are almost done with this challenge. We have just two days left. Thanks for working out with us. See you guys tomorrow.